So hey everyone, my name is Ollie Meeling, I do card tricks and recently Orm reached out to me, one of the guys at Wild Playing Cards and he said we've created a flamingo deck, do you like it, would you like to do some tricks with it? I saw the designs, I thought yeah, I love it and I'm happy to do some tricks with it and so that's now where we find ourselves. Yeah. We're on Hampstead Heath, we're joined with our friend Luke who's hiding in the background <laughs> on our stage, a bench. Yeah. And so I think we're just going to launch into it. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right, let's go. This is going to be wild. <laughs> nice segue. Luke, yeah. hello. Hey. Thank What's you happening? for joining me. You're very well. Or did I join you? I don't know. I, I mean, I was kind of just <laughs> here and it's magic. Here so. we are. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we have the Flamingo deck. Wow. Amazing. Didn't expect it to land like yeah, that. That's cool. I was going to do that. There we go. <laughs> um, so as well as the Flamingo cards, I need to borrow your phone. So okay. if you can take out your phone, and I want you to, to obviously unlock it, and then go to the stopwatch. So just bring up your clock, bring yeah, up the stopwatch. Stop yeah. yeah, perfect. Oh, oh, and then when you've got yeah. that, just rest the whole thing on top of the deck. There we go. Perfect. It's going to spin this yeah, around that way. the camera. And in a moment, I'm going to get you to reach out and press start. Okay. And as the seconds begin ticking by, I'll ask you a series of questions, really simple questions. They're just going to cause you to generate a playing card. Once we've established that card, we'll stop the clock and we'll go from there. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. And there's no right or wrong answer to these questions, so just say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. Okay. So let's just reset. And so in your own time loop, just reach out and press start. So in a deck of cards, you have two categories of cards. You've got numbers and pictures. Just name one of those. Uh, pictures. Whichever one pictures. So then you've got jacks, queens, and kings. Name one of those. Let's go for kings. Kings. And uh, the next question is, what colour would you like this king to be? Red or black? Uh, black. A black king. Which then boils us down to our, our final question is, what suit? If you've gone for black, it's clubs or spades. So you tell me, the king of... Spades. Sure? Yeah. All right. So let's stop the clock here uh, on 24 seconds we make it a little close up on that so was it spades you said yeah spades so in 24 seconds you've generated the king of spades and it's fair to say that we haven't set anything up you have no, no idea that you would probably even be here today no, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> let alone sat on a bench being asked uh, a series of questions that would cause you to name the king of spades or that you would do it in 24 seconds so why are we here what is this what's this all about well the fact that we have the king of spades and the number 24 right now means nothing until we remember that underneath your phone is a deck of cards. And somewhere in that deck of cards will be the King of Spades. What are the chances that it's oh. not just at any position, Luke, but specifically the 24th card down? Yeah, that'd be good. That'd it? be amazing, wouldn't it? And we can yeah. either entertain it as this incredible notion, yeah. or Luke, for yourself and everybody watching, we can choose to find out. Yeah, let's find out. Let's find out. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be a lot more entertaining, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. So King of Spades, the number 24. I'll let you just move your phone. And I'm not even going to touch the pack if you could pick them up and just carefully slide them out of the box. And I'll get you to hold the pack face up so that as you deal, we can see each card is different. And we're going to go to the 24th card. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, slow it down, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, this is 23, the card after this has to be yours, the King of Spades, did it work? 23, 24 oh, card, there, there it is. is. That's <laughs> no pretty way. good, isn't it? That's sick. King of Spades, Luke, thank you so much. Why have you done that then? And of course you're welcome to <laughs> examine these regular shuffled deck. Yeah, it's great. Sensation. It's great, isn't it? All right, so Luke, I'm gonna go through and make a prediction card. <laughs> I was having a fun time over there. <laughs> and should we carry on? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's leave that underneath the box. And if you could shuffle these. Okay. And then when you're done, just split the pack face up and give them a cut. Great, cool. So a nice mixed up deck of cards. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so here's the idea. I'm gonna just start taking cards one by one and as I'm doing this you're going to feel at some point an urge to to stop me so I'll just go through and you just say stop anytime stop 
right here. Yeah. King of Diamonds. Yeah, let's go with that. All right, let's place it to the side. Shuffle deck. Yeah. Could have gone the whole way, could have stopped me on any card. Stop me on the King of Diamonds. I was trying to predict the card that you would stop me on. And of course, there's only one of each card in the deck, so I couldn't put the King of Diamonds out. Right. But the closest I could get to it was its mate, the other Red King, i.e. the King of Hearts. If that's the King of Hearts, that's a pretty good trick, right? Yeah. Luke, take a look. No way. <laughs> that's sick. Yeah, that was great. Ready? Okay, so I'm gonna take out uh, two cards. Yeah. All right, leave those on the box. Um, would you shuffle those? And place them down. Okay, and then get a bit more squared. And then just cut. Okay, oh, don't complete the cut. Okay. <laughs> it's alright. Maybe square it now and go again. Or, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. There, okay. So here's where you cut. Alright. Do you want to take any away? Add some more? Or leave it as it is? Just leave it as it is. Okay. Uh, so add these up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23. And I'll offer you the chance one more time. You can reject it if you wish. Do you want to add any or take any away? Or reject? It's up to you. I'll add one. You'll add one. Is that, yeah? It's up to you, it's your trick. Yeah, you can add that on there. Yeah. So, uh, what was it? It was 23? Yeah. It's now 24. 24. You could have cut anywhere. It was up to you whether you added, subtracted, or left it as it was. <laughs> but out of the choices you've made, you've generated the number 24. At the very beginning, you remember I removed two cards. Yeah. They've been in full view the whole time. Yeah. These two cards I removed to generate a number that when held side by side would create a two digit number, namely a two and a four, 24. Nice. Thank you very that. much. Thank you. Yeah. Someone. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> <what it is. laughs> so I'm gonna try a um, trick with the four aces this okay. time. So just, just sort of a, a quick trick. Mm -hmm. um, name, name one of the suits for me. Uh, clubs. Clubs, okay. Yeah. And if you have to change your mind? Uh, go with diamonds. Okay. Yeah. But which do you want? And you can change your mind again if you wish. It just you just okay. have to know it's a free choice. Okay. What do let's you want go. To... Let's go with hearts. Is that? Oh, a rogue decision. Last yeah. minute. Okay. So you went. What clubs, you... diamonds? You you changed yeah. it multiple times. But are you happy that's free and fair? That is free. Yeah. Okay. All right. So look, I'm going to take the four aces. Mm -hmm. I'm going to squeeze them. Ooh. Until there's just one left. You could have chose any suit. Yeah. <sighs> you changed your mind last second. I'm glad you did, Orm. I've only got the ace of hearts. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. We I love the fun one. one. Uh. <laughs> yeah, the fun one. Salute. So. When was the last time you saw a flamingo that wasn't printed on a playing card? Wow, a long time ago. Probably at like London Zoo or something. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. only down the road, isn't it? But I can't remember. I, 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 I say five years ago, conservatively. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Well, now that we've really got to know each other, yeah. um, <laughs> let's, let's try a quick trick. So, um, I want you to imagine that I've got a second deck of cards. Obviously, I wouldn't ordinarily carry any other cards other than the wild playing cards flamingo deck on me. There's no need. Of course, yeah. But let's just imagine, you know, we'll use our imaginations that we have an invisible deck here. So I want you to take this one, okay? Not the prop you're used to, but right, <laughs> like an yeah. actual, you know, regular invisible deck. There's a uh, paradox. And then just shuffle them up for me, okay? I you read a box joke. And, <laughs> no, I didn't read I was expecting you to I say missed the Oh, I tell you about that. Anyways, yeah. okay, give me a little shot. I'll redeem, I'll make up for that one and say, right. um, now put them back in the order they were to start with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Lines are so bad there. Okay. Yeah. okay, I'll take them back. 
And uh, here's the idea. I'm gonna just, <laughs> for a moment I thought I was just falling off. I'm gonna start dealing these cards face up. So we've got a two of hearts, mm -hmm. uh, 10 of diamonds, uh, jack of clubs, joker. Probably should have taken those out. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> and what I like to do, Luke, is you're just gonna stop me at any point, okay? okay? As, as soon or as late as you like, okay? okay. Uh, so, um, nine of spades, um, ace of hearts, um, seven of hearts. Uh, it's actually quite difficult to think of cards on the fly. <laughs> um, six of spades. Yeah, let's go for that one. Six sure? Of spades, yeah. Okay, pick it up, that's now your card. And uh, show it to the show camera. camera. <laughs> I'll get rid of these. No longer need those. So you're holding the uh, what did I say? Six of spades. Six of spades. Correct. Um, All right. And of course, there was multiple cards that I'd named beforehand. You also shuffled them, so we didn't know what order they yeah, were going to yeah. come out. You could have stopped a lot later if you wished. It was a free choice. But you're holding the six of spades. I am. And is it face up or face down in your uh, hand? It's right face now? up currently. Face up. Turn it face down, but still hold it as if you're pinching. Great. And I want you to start lowering it towards the deck. And imagine that you're actually placing it on top of that deck. Boop. Now it's one thing to imagine it, but it's another to make it reality. Take a look. Top card is? It's a six of spades. Six of spades. There we go. Nice. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, Luke, let's uh, try and step things up a bit. I mean, literally, we're going to stand up. Oh. <laughs> so if you take the deck, give them a quick shuffle, and uh, I would like you to... I will turn away. I don't think I can see anything. Just spread into, you can stop shuffling, just yeah. spread into the pack. Um, face down or face up? Face down. Okay. Um, up, draw a card. Uh, take, take it out, have a look at it. Show the camera? Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then um, I want this to be kind of inserted in a, in a blind fashion. So hold the pack behind your back. Your back. back. Yeah. And then, and then the card behind your back as well. Yeah. And just feed it somewhere into the pack. Okay. Square everything up, maybe give it a few cuts. Is that fair? Doing it in that fashion, yeah. you have no idea where yeah, it went. Yeah, for sure. Okay. But it was the right orientation of the rest of the yeah. card. Okay. You can bring the pack out front, keep shuffling them. Uh, okay. Obviously, I've been turned away the whole time. Yeah. You remember what the card is? Yeah. Think of it. Okay. I think it's given me everything I need. Colour was the first thing I got, namely a red card. The value was the second thing I got, namely a picture card. Oh no, no. Wasn't. you're shaking your head. Okay, no. keep filming, keep filming. Yeah. What, um, well then I'm, I'm lost already, what was it? No, it was the Ace of Spades. Luke. No. The Ace of Spades. Oh, oh I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Sick. Nice. <laughs> so there we go, that was my day spent with the guys at Wild Playing Cards and I got to road test their Flamingo cards. I hope you enjoyed the tricks as much as I enjoyed the cards. They look and handle great, they're going to be available soon so why don't you go on over, click the link in the bio and go back this deck. Cool, thanks for watching, take care.